Back here, there's big seagulls up in the tree here. Let's see if I can get him. Beautiful big bird. Is he trying to get a feed as well? What a beautiful bird. Jeez, I love this crossing. We've made it back here. So uh, I'm gonna give this a bit more of a whirl here. And then I might walk downstream there a bit and see if there's anything downstream. See a lot of live bait here, swirling around. There's that big eagle up there. Sleepy cod. That's cool. Oh, I'm not sticking my fingers on that. <laughs> the sleepy cod. Oh! There he goes. Oh, he's dropped it. Here he comes. Boom, he's got it that time. Yeah. Unreal. Oh yeah, baby. Got it. <laughs> just goes to show you always with barramundi you always bring your lure right to the edge of the water because you'll often get hit there but i really wasn't expecting that i just ran into a couple of people up here i pulled them out of a bog they've just been here fishing said all they caught was tarpaulin so yeah that's unreal i'll measure him up all right we'll uh measure him up Look 
67. 67 centimetre. Well and truly legal. First fish of the day. No tag, but that's alright. Little freshwater crocodile here again. Yeah, I love these guys. They move really fast though. Guys, he he's gone. Those pig hunters back there just told me not long ago that the four metre croc down here took their pig. So I'll have to be super careful here. I mean, there's crocs everywhere, but one just literally took the pig while their dogs had it. So I'll have to just watch me, um, watch where I'm going here. There's another croc just up here ahead of me. Let's see if I can get over to him. Oh no, he's gonna go, he's gonna go. Fresh here, I think. Yeah, no, he's gone. Damn it. There he goes. <laughs> Here we go. Classic croc slide here. He's come up here, slid down into the water. That water there is actually moving a little bit, so he could be right there. So I'll stand back from there a little bit, just in case. It's probably only a freshie, but you can never be too careful. And you don't want to take that risk. Goes to show you just got to be so careful where you step. Just walking through here right where I was going to walk. There's a little snake. I think it's a keelback. Looks like a keelback. Yeah, it is. They're not poisonous, but they're usually pretty aggressive. Um, they look like a little swamp tiger, but they, yeah, like I say, they're usually fairly aggressive. Yeah. that grass is somewhere there now. The trouble they get in there you can't see where they are. Yeah I'll leave him be. Yeah keel back. They're really rough. They've got really rough scales. And yeah they they look super dangerous but they're um, actually not poisonous. Wow, look at this, I've just seen that last keel back. There's another one here, right on the track. I'll move him on a little bit. Let's see where that went. Jeez, they disappeared quick. He's right there and I can't even see where he went. I reckon this is as far as I can come down here. It's gone into this, um, all this long grass here. It's really waterlogged. And if, it, if it's too deep, there's no way I'm walking through it. Way too dangerous. So, yeah, might be time to turn around, I think. Unless I can get around that other side there. As I'm walking through this grass, I'm stirring up the grasshoppers. There's a little um, 
falcon, I think it is, coming in trying to swoop the grasshoppers. There goes the grasshoppers, here he comes down. Oh. There he comes, he's doubled back. Boom, got one. There he goes. Grabbed it and took off. <laughs> Just gonna stop in the Bar Cut Hotel here and um, get a quick feed. Love this little pub. Closed up for a couple of years, but it's open now and up and running. It's yeah, it's a great little pub. Got that real bush feel to it, so we'll go in and get some chips or something and head off. What a great little pup. 